My name is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm an elite application expert with MLC CAD systems. I'm also a certified SOLIDWORKS instructor. And as an instructor, I want to talk to you about the SOLIDWORKS file management training course that we offer here at MLC CAD systems. So no matter what your actual experience level with SOLIDWORKS is, this is a great class for anyone who uses SOLIDWORKS or needs to manage design and engineering data. This specific class is a one day training course designated to only file management. We can offer this online or in person or even as a custom class. This is a live instructor led training course from someone like myself who is a certified instructor in SOLIDWORKS and every attendee does receive their own training manual. It's yours to keep for any type of future reference that you may want. So you may be asking yourself, are there any other class prerequisites to take this? As long as you have a general working knowledge of SOLIDWORKS CAD and the Windows operating system, you're set and ready to go. So let's take a sneak peek at some of the topics that are actually covered in this file management course. We'll start out by talking about the SOLIDWORKS file structure, header, instruction sets, database, in relation to parts and assemblies. We'll also take a look at some specific techniques that are available to allow us to simplify our parts and our assemblies, and even to reduce items such as rebuild time. We'll even see how we can control and reduce file sizes inside this class. We'll of course talk about SOLIDWORKS file references between assemblies, parts, and drawings. We'll see several examples of how we can utilize and manage external references when components are created in context to the assembly itself. We'll see how we can actually utilize SOLIDWORKS references to create families of parts and utilize existing work, such as drawings of very similar components. We'll also be discussing SOLIDWORKS file utilities, such as creating pack and goes, and then also being able to do items such as renaming, moving, or replacing items within the SOLIDWORKS environment while actually maintaining all of the SOLIDWORKS references. And if you work in a team, we'll see the SOLIDWORKS multi-user environment, which can allow multiple people and teams to work more efficiently on a single design. So the benefits that you'll get from this class are the ability to start reducing timely and costly errors, streamline design changes and updates, reduce file loss of moved or renamed files, reduce broken references and parts and assemblies, and successfully manage all of your SOLIDWORKS files within the Windows operating system. Also, this class provides the fundamentals of data management for use with items such as SOLIDWORKS PDM standard or professional offerings. If you're interested and want to learn more, please check out our course offerings at our website. You can also reach out to your local representative to get a full syllabus and more information about this course. Thank you for your time and have a great day.